In this video, we will summarize what you need to compute the reproduction number RT and how to compute it. However, I doubt that the current method gives accurate predictions of RT because there are two fundamental problems, or let's call them challenges. We will end this video with possible ways to solve these problems. As far as I know, however, these solutions have not been implemented yet, but if you know this better than me, please let me know. So, let's summarize first. Uh, how do we uh, compute I, uh, R of t? Well, we had our I nu and our R of t, and the problem is R of t was inside an integral with some rho tilde of u, and rho tilde was a convolution of the two probability densities. So, how did we solve this problem? Well, in summary, we assumed two probability densities, rho ei and rho, uh, that's step one. Step two, uh, we defined the small r of t logarithmic derivative of i nu, and then in the, in the end, we could find an expression for our reproduction number rt in terms of the small r and b1 and b2, where b1 and b2 are those uh, expectations values of the probability densities. So far, so good. So, what's the problem? I mean, this looks fine. Well, what well, problem? Let's call it challenges. First of all, the assumption over here on those probability densities, that's pretty questionable. Probably it would be much better to take other distributions like gamma distributions. Okay, you, then you can still do, do all of the computations and then maybe you get more or less the same. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, okay, questionable uh, assumption, but relatively easy to uh, determine. A much bigger problem is over here in the computation of small r of t. If you have your i nu as a smooth solution of some modeling problem, so you uh, have some set of differential equations, you get your i, you compute your i, uh, i nu of t, then you are fine, because your yeah, i nu is nice and smooth. However, if you have some ongoing epidemic, you typically like to infer this number, the small r of t, from your data. And your data uh, uh, contain a lot of noise. So, containing, uh, uh, so computing small r of t will be very problematic. Your very noisy data derivative doesn't even exist. So here you have a huge problem, I think. Accurate computation of the derivative of uh, I knew as function of t is problematic, to put it mildly. Now, possible solutions. Well, solution to one is easy. Use gamma distribution for the densities and you're fine. You're good to go. Second, well, there is some calculus which allows us to compute a uh, derivative of those probabilistic uh, data. It's called Ito calculus. Uh, I don't know it. It's it's uh, uh, quite advanced mathematics. Maybe it has been done already. Otherwise, an open problem or an open challenge, if you want. So, and um, that is to solve problems one and two. Another idea, which may be even better, is not go into all of this at all and say we just stay with our integral equation over here. Our t is in there. We discretize our integral equation. That gives you RT on different points, times some matrix which, uh, which contains I news and, and rows, so discretizes, and the right hand side. Then you basically get a problem of the form AX equals B, where the matrix A is known and where the B contains I new, so also known. And then you and your X's contain all your RTs. So that might be an even better solution. I don't know whether this has already been done. Um, uh, if you know whether any of those three things has been done, please uh, let me know. Uh, I'm curious to hear about it.